1917 is Sam Mendes' new movie, the guy who also directed Skyfall. In his new film, it's about two British soldiers in World War I. They're sent on a mission to send a message behind enemy lines that will save 1,600 men and one of the soldier's brothers from walking into a deadly trap. God damn, 2019 was a great year for movies. I'm so mad I had to see this in 2020. Every once in a while, there's a movie that I feel like is so well made and so well crafted. It reminds me why I love movies, going to the cinema, and doing this channel now. And 1917 is one of those movies. This movie was so well made. I'll get into that in a little bit, but first I want to talk about the performances. First I want to say there's a lot of cameos in this movie that I did not expect, and I thought that was a really welcoming thing. I thought it was very fresh, I thought it was very cool. And they all do a great job. The two main characters, the first one, Tommen, from Game of Thrones, he does a great job. He's a soldier that's trying to save his brother, and you can tell he's really determined to carry out this mission, to be a hero, to get a medal, and you really feel a sense of urgency with his character, and he does a really good job. But the standout performance in this movie is George McKay. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but he does such a good job in this movie. His performance is so well done, and I know these actors had to do so much with continuity and making sure the sequences match because there's so much work that went in this movie. And I gotta give props to the actors for pulling it off because it's not an easy feat to do. It's so hard to do, and they do a great job. But the reason I love this movie so much is how it's crafted, how it's made. Sam Mendes, you are a genius. I cannot believe the things you pulled off with this movie. Remember in True Detective Season 1, Episode 4? There's that one sequence with Matthew McConaughey where he goes undercover, and it's like a 10-minute long sequence with no cuts. It's just a one long sequence of him running in between houses and escaping this biker gang. It was one of the most incredible things I've seen in television and one of the most incredible sequences I've ever seen because of how well it was edited. This movie is one long sequence like that. It's really two sequences, but there's no cuts or anything. There's literally one cut, and the whole movie feels like that episode of True Detective. But the crazy thing about this, yes, it's a two-hour runtime, but there's just so many giant set pieces, some muddy areas, water, destructive ruins, people losing their equipment, things like that, and they pull off this continuity so it looks like you're really watching these things in real time. I, it, I can't even wrap my mind of how hard that had to be to make sure everything lined up, the continuity was right, and it made sure it was one long flowing sequence throughout the whole entire movie. I'm not kidding, it's something I've never seen in a movie. This movie is absolutely game changing. And I gotta give props to Sam Mendes and the editor. I don't even know who edited this movie. I'm going to look it up right now. The editor of this movie was Lee Smith. And he edited Inception, Dark Knight, Dunkirk, Dark Knight Rises, Interstellar. So I'm not surprised that this guy edited this movie perfectly. And this movie is one of the best edited movies I've ever seen. Considering that everything looks like one long take. But you know that's logistically impossible to do, to logistically film something like that. So there's obviously cuts that we just don't notice. And that's because of how well Lee Smith edits this movie. If he does not win best editing, if this movie does not win best editing, that's just absurd. And the next thing I say about this movie is how gorgeous it looks. It looks amazing. Roger Deakins is the cinematographer, and I'm not surprised, because he's probably the best ever. Every shot in this movie looks incredible. There is a sequence where one of our characters is walking through ruins of a destroyed city at night and there's just flares being shot up in the air, there's fires somewhere, and my jaw dropped. I was absolutely mesmerized at how beautiful everything looked. Roger Deakins is a master at doing this. That one scene which is so incredible. And then Thomas Newton's score, really well done too. It's intense, it's also tragic. Really honestly one of the best sequences I've seen in a very long time. Some people might think I'm overreacting in that sense, but I was just in awe of how great it looked. If this movie does not win best cinematography, we boycott the Oscars even more because that would be ridiculous. And the movie's pretty short and surprisingly there is some good character development in here. But it was a very emotional movie too. The sequences in this movie aren't like the big epic action pieces like in Saving Private Ryan or Black Hawk Down. Just so like a lot of people fighting each other. 1917, it's just two characters. And they go around corners. It's very suspenseful. And sometimes they're only fighting like one soldier. They'll get fired upon and you don't know where it's coming from because you're right with those guys. And you're kind of like looking around like, where did that come from? Where did that come from? And you look on the screen and you're like, oh, he's up there, he's up there. The whole movie's epic, but the action set pieces are very grounded. 
Like I said, it's a lot of like one-on-one, one-on-two. It's not like a big group of British soldiers versus German soldiers. While there is one giant epic sequence, most of this movie is little sequences in this epic set piece that Sam Mendes crafted. He did such a great job directing this movie, I can't even emphasize it enough. I really do hope he wins Best Director because the shit they had to do had to be so hard to pull off and they pulled it off perfectly. In the end, 1917 is incredible. It's so well made. The fact that they made this movie seem like one long sequence with no cuts is worth the ticket price alone. This is probably the best war movie I've seen since Saving Private Ryan. It's not as good as Saving Private Ryan. That's one of my favorite movies ever. But it's probably the best war movie since then. Maybe I might like Black Hawk Down a little bit better. But honestly, I think 1917 is better. I could talk about this movie for hours. I'm going to wrap this up right here. I really wish I saw 1917 in 2019. Because it would have been on my top 10 list. Because 1917 absolutely gets a 10 out of 10. It's over! It's over! God, 2019 was such a great year for movies. I really hope 2020 continues that tradition. I really do. But it's going to be hard to follow up. Just saying. So, 1917. Go see this movie this week and drop what you're doing and go see this movie. Thank you guys so much for watching and click here to see more of David Dave's takes.